All right, all right. Welcome everyone, my name is Michael, and today we're gonna to be making some art, and I'm gonna do a Dutch pour, and uh, this is gonna be my uh, first Dutch pour with a uh, hairdryer, so this should be pretty interesting. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's give it a go here. All right, we're gonna go with some, uh, some pretty, uh, you yeah, know, not too wild colors. So, you know, I'll, I'll tell you about them as we go. And, uh, okay, good luck, here we go. So, what do we want? We're gonna do like a line situation here so we can blow out and out now. Okay, so what's our bottom color, guys? Is it, I mean, what mixes the best with everything here? Is it the blue or the pink? the red. Red and gold and then maybe yep, I wanna do red. Okay. Here we go guys. So let's do a little bit of red here. Just like that. That's probably even too thick. Alright, what do you follow up with the red with? The pink, right? Yeah. Definitely. Do a little blue over there, right? Yeah, right in the middle of the red. I love this. I hope this works the way I think it's gonna work. I hope. Oh boy, I don't know. Now let's uh, do a little purple. I'm still going right in the middle of the red, guys. Yeah, right there. And gals and everybody. But uh, yeah, this is fun. Sorry guys, I'm shaking you guys up. Oh my gosh, that's craziness. Okay, here we go. And then finish up with this metallic gold. I love this gold here. Right in the middle of that purple. Just like that, okay. Now, I think I have way too much for a Dutch pour, but let's give it a shot here. I'm gonna go around. Okay, just like this. I just, I, I don't know if I'm having a problem. I keep touching my cameras. I don't know why. I gotta get a different setup going because I think being over this container is not being that helpful to me. It seems like it would be because, you know, it keeps the paint in and it keeps it not messy, but I really feel like it's not working for me. I have a lot of extra white, so let's keep it that way. All right, guys, um, it's probably gonna get slightly noisy, I guess. So, uh, here we go. We're gonna do the uh, hair dryer situation. Yes. All right, yep. Hair dryer here, got it. And uh, we're gonna go cool. And we're gonna use the cold setting. Again, no silicone in anything, guys. And I believe we just have to blow this over, okay, let's put a little extra white, because I don't know how much to blow over here, I probably could just swipe it over if I really needed to, though, you know what I'm saying, or oh, actually, I'm going to put this part on, because I feel it will swipe better, okay, so here, I'm going to get this connected here, maybe we're just going to, maybe we'll have to just come over like this, so I think it would be the best way to go with this. Oh boy, if I could flip it the other way, maybe Conair will uh, sponsor one day. Nope, let's go this way. Alright, now I see, I see the craziest thing sometimes. I don't know. Let's see, high, low, off, or low, low. Okay. That worked out great. Uh, now, really, with no silicone in here, this is just, I'm doing a, a flow troll mix, and I usually do a glue wall mix, and uh, let's see what happens, especially with no uh, silicone, if we're going to get it cells, and this paint's thin for this kind of pour here, so let's get the torch going, and torch this before we push it back over, I know this is going to be a loud video, guys, sorry. Ba, 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 torch it up. 
Get the bubbles out too while we're right here. Okay, that seems pretty good. Alright. I like these pour some. Okay. Now, should we continue using this part or go back to that part? I mean, I already have a little, I've tried, tried this out, so I have just a little bit of talent with this. Not talent, but you know what I mean. Uh, the fact that these cups are in my way with this blowing is going to be a problem. I want to move the canvas down just a little bit. Yeah, that's better. That makes it a lot easier, guys. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to switch to just using this. Okay, because I think what we're going to do is we want to... Yeah, what do we want to do? Do you want to come down? Hmm. We we're wasting so much time, but let's get this going. I think still think we want to come down here this way and then back across. Okay, let's give it a shot. Uh, so there we go. Yeah, that's the Sorry, guys. Super, super loud. Okay. There we go. Let's go. Oops. Okay, I'm going to get into the thing, guys. And maybe it's because it's too bad. It's like, oh. Yeah, let's get into the future. Seemed a little crazy. That seemed like very strong. Yeah, that seemed too strong with that that on. Uh, I don't know what that's called. I don't know Space up here, maybe. That's kind of cool. There's a lot of maybe space down here. Let's get the uh, hair dryer away from us so we can talk a little. Should I try? I wonder. Should I try to blow out a little more here? Just leave this. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Kind of cool. I mean, this is a Dutch pour for you know, real. So maybe we should just blow, should we blow this out or just leave it? Hmm. I don't mind it. Hmm. I don't want, oh, I don't know what to do. I wish you could see into the future in this situation, huh? Hmm, there's got to be paint under there though, right? Maybe not. All right, let's shut it down, guys. Let's shut it down. We're going with this style. This looks pretty cool. Let's torch this stuff, guys. Let's see what we get out of it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you, you know, the wheels are turning. The wheels are turning. I'm really thinking about uh, going back in and working on that section, but I'm leaving it. And it's funny because I actually can't get the torch going. There we go. There we go, guys. Torching it up. Get all the bubbles out. over here. I don't know what to do in this situation. Maybe, uh, maybe a popsicle stick, I guess. But yeah, you can see it's kind of like it wants to fall off, but it's not. Oh, see? Oh, guys, what do I do here? Ooh, this is not going to be fun here. Can't get a trip, right? Oh, you know what? Oh, boy. This is, oh, this is what you have. Oh, shaking me up again. This is what you have extra weight for. This situation. Just gotta make sure it doesn't come back at it, at the canvas. Any other white situation you got going on here? I actually don't mind this over here. I just kind of wish we'd get some cells going though. Maybe I'm gonna come in. 
I'm gonna come up with a smaller torch. Now I'm finding this side of the canvas for some reason for me has been lighter than this side. I don't know why. I don't look, I'm not touching this. I love it already. I don't love it. I like it. Let's get some stuff going here, guys. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. There you go. You know, we really want some up here, huh? Oh, yeah. And over here. Because that'll get some character to this paint, huh? If we're in this up, there's probably stuff going on over here, huh? Yeah, I like that in the cells, and that was a good idea. Let's pop this bubble here. I think there's like a bubble there. I don't know. Yeah, I like adding the cells in there. I like the light. That made it a little nice. Oh, I like the edge, you guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe I over, overcooked it. Yeah, slightly. I over, overcooked that section, yeah. like it. It's different. Very bright over here. Very dull over here. I gotta remember to try to spread out the colors. Maybe I just needed slightly more red or maybe a, like a bigger push in here. But uh, yeah, I mean that's, you know, for uh, never, you know, not really using a hair dryer so much except for maybe like slight practice. You know what I mean? Like, that was pretty cool. I kind of liked it. It's not the most exciting painting, but yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Hey, I wish I could tilt this sucker. I wonder what that would be like, huh? If you could tilt this painting. See, what I'm doing down here is touching this up, but do you think it's gonna... Do you think this is gonna be okay? No, man, see, I don't have enough... I don't have enough uh, practice in the Dutch core. I don't want this to not be smooth. You know what I mean? Everything else is smooth. Is that gonna level out? You know? Um, okay, this is one of those situations where I might be able to come in and use the straw here, guys. To see if it levels out. There's a circle here now. So I'm gonna add some more long way. Because you know, I gotta mess around here. See if I can pull it off. See if it'll like pull off. If I add white right to the edge. I don't know if anybody's ever tried this before. You try to add the white so it pulls the rest of the white off. Oh, see now I'm probably adding too much white, but it might hmm. I'm gonna have to do it for a second. I don't want to tilt this. I don't think I'm gonna tilt for a second. Oh yeah, no, no, I think it's gonna move the composition too much. Let's see. Maybe I'll maybe stretch my cells and make it look cool. Do you usually tilt Dutch pores? I don't think so, right? I think that actually, that actually worked. It actually, uh, it's okay. I'm okay with the way this looks now, huh? Is it uh, becoming good down there or what? I like the stretching. Stretch back a little bit. Level this out a little. Hmm. Anybody do this kind of work to a Dutch I don't know. It's cool. Alright, guys. So, uh,. Yeah, let's uh, let's bring it in for a uh, close up, and I think this is it. It was even kind of cool stretching it a little. That's cool. All right, all right, here we go, guys. Here we go. Going in, going in for a close up. All right, I like to call it fly by. All right, here we go. We always start off in this corner. Let's do this. Gotta get some more to go. Cool. Right. Right. I'm gonna do a whole bunch and see how good I can get at it. You know what I mean? I gotta keep doing them until I feel I got it. Like the ring pours. Maybe not the jiggle pours. The ring pours, yeah. You can't see anything, but this is what I was looking at. I'll zoom back in here. Alright, so this is what we're looking at here, what I was seeing. So, let's 
design. Come down here. Can see this color here? Yeah, that's pretty. Let's see if I can zoom in nice. I can make this thing a thumbnail. Yeah, guys, I'm really liking this. This looks pretty cool.